He has designs on winning for the first time in eight years. Jordan Spieth is here for the first time in four years. Check in on the action over on the other side of the golf course here, Ned. This is Stewart Sink at the fourth, some 60 feet or so. Big, long, green. Come on, Stewart. Yes, sir. That might be the longest putt he makes all year. Flat. All right, at it. Fabulous shot. Tom Hoagie kind of quietly cruising along. That's kind of his M.O., isn't it? There's another one. Starting to get a little louder. You spoke earlier, Andre, about Matt Kuchar's willingness to change things in his game through the years. I remember as he pours that one in when he went to the arm lock method. Now Horschel at six. Yeah, 30-footer. Looking forward to go to the right. Come on. Come on. Okay. Try to keep from moving too far left. All depends if it's the right distance. That it is. Looking for three in a row, Billy Horsch. The day for him and doing his thing at the seventh. His last birdie of the day as he wound up his day on the front nine here at Wiley Country Club. From 27 feet, 64 for speed, tied for the lead. Really trying to get the right speed is the number one goal. But getting the line right is also a bonus. Approach shot of Dylan Wu into the 16th. Oh, yes. Don't mind if you do. Do not get in an arm wrestling match with Harry. <laughs> Noted. 6'4", 220 and some change, and he's a thick, strong young man. Oh, some good touch. Ford Ferry Tour graduate. This is Adam Long, second at the 15th. Layup hole off the tee, short iron into the green. It's about as well as you can do without holding it. I respect you, <laughs> but I'm coming for you now. <laughs> so cool that he's out here playing well. 16. Birdie putt of some range on the way for Kevin Streelman. Look out. Oh, nice catch by the hole. Where Tyler Dunker is one over. Playing the hole that's playing actually quite easy today. The wind is down and from the left. Full location in the back right. We're seeing lots of close shots here today. And there is another one right there. This is Anders Albertson for birdie. 29 year old who's got a couple of Corn Ferry Tour wins. Played on the Corn Ferry Tour, won the Knoxville Open for his second tour victory on that yeah. tour. And a good start for Anders Albertson. Two birdies in the first three holes to quickly get it to two under. Got a nice round going three under par, kind of in search of his game of late a little bit. Of course, former winner on the PGA Tour. Nice little shot here, played a little draw into this back right hole location. This is at the eighth hole, a rookie on the PGA Tour, Augusto Nunez, his second shot. Oh. Hey, ooh. How about that? I think he can make that one for birdie. Corn Ferry Tour graduate. Patton Kazire, who won here, won the Sony Open, is at the 14th for birdie. And just drilling that on the back of the cup. Pat and Desire making his seventh start. Denny McCarthy at the par four, 15th for birdie. He's the kind of guy that can just get it going here. Wow. We saw him at the QBE shootout when he was teamed up with Nelly Corda, and she was uh, amazed by the way this guy can roll it. He and 
Jerry Kelly, both of them playing in their 25th straight Sony Open. And that putt pretty straight as it came up. And down it goes for Rory Sabatini, who's got an incredible record here. This is Peter Molnati for birdie at 16. He's made a couple bogeys in his last three holes, so he needs something good to happen. Lots of speed right in the heart. Peter Molnati, nice bounce back. This is at the fourth. Brendan Todd has a good look at birdie at this very difficult par three. He's been messing around. Ooh. There's a good putt. Wow, he's got it going. Four birdies in his last five holes, and he's one of the better putters out here. 30 year old Englishman. Played on the tour in 20 and 21. Didn't qualify for the playoffs either year, but taking his shots here at this Sony Open in Hawaii. And that's a beauty. And that should get Taylor to four under. Won the Mark McCormick medal two years in a row as the best amateur player in the world. This is for an eagle. He's a professional now, and that's why. Nice. Actually won a big tournament in Japan, the Panasonic Open, when he was an amateur. And Rory Sabatini, just a little flick of a wedge left for him here. Oof. And took a look. Good shot. Back down to the golf course in the eighth. And Aaron Baddeley after a very nice drive in the heart of the fairway. A chance to maybe attack here. Kurt, I said it was yeah. Adam Scott that beat Greg Norman in the Australian Open. It was actually Aaron Baddeley that did it at age 19. Steven Yeager for birdie at 16. No. Fills it up. This guy can go low. He won't shot 58. Keegan Bradley trying to catch a spark here coming home. He is at plus two. And that's one way to get things started. More than anybody I'd ever seen before, and, and it would, I thought it was very smart trying to figure that out. Whoa, Matsuyama figures that one out. Just dead in the back of the cup. Just a moment ago, this was Armour on the tee. Teed off way over on the right hand side, playing a little baby fade in there. And this one had eyes. How about it? <laughs> yep, that one is in, Ryan. Another look at the shot. He played a little fade. And this thing lands on the green, and it's like a putt rolling at this point. And like back from a three putt bogey at the previous hole. Really good round going. It's a two tier green now. You have to get it up on the proper level. That'll feed towards the hole, and that's one of the best shots of the day at number six. At 16, Adam Scott in for a 303 yard par, excuse me, three wood. Just 133 left. And takes advantage of a wet shot in there. What a beauty that. One of the hardest holes out here. This would be a nice birdie if you can get it. There it is. Adam Long with his lone PGA Tour victory at the American Express four years ago. Came up short here on the par three. Got a good round going as you can see three under. But up the hill will it reach. Oh yeah it will. So the 34 year old. Still looking for his first PGA Tour win. That's a nice little run. Two birdies there and three holes but. <laughs> amazing the goat on the board. All right, here's Agosto Nunez at 13. Showed him earlier, but we didn't see anybody hit a shot like this. Wow. That is the best of the day. Hang on to that uh, hot streak for a while. We'll see how he does here. In with the 565. 
Currently tied with Denny McCarthy and Harris English at that number. You see Taylor Montgomery at the 500 number as well. He will be monitored along with anybody else that uh, makes any noise here coming home. David Lipsky at four under through 17 holes along with Sabatini playing well here. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here.